Stan Uris is a very um, kind of neat freak, I guess you could say in a way. He has OCD. He definitely doesn't like to get dirty, uh, as you see multiple times throughout the movies, like in the Barrens and other places. But once he gets into the sewers, he just kind of lets free just a little bit, not too much, because that's just not him. They learn to bond over the summer, and they all come together because of it, basically. And also, the, the Bowers gang. That's how Ben finds his way into our group, which is a really unique way to stumble upon the losers. And that leads to a whole other conundrum, and then Beverly comes in and sees Ben, and they all connect, and then Mike comes, and it, and then they all just figure out what's going on, because they know something's up when everyone tries to ignore it. The first time we saw Pennywise in full makeup was probably not until a month and a half in, or maybe more, which was incredible how they did that, by the way, because they just kept us from not seeing him for that long, and you'd think by now it's like, oh, maybe we can sneak, uh, get a peek of him, but I think we all also decided mutually that it would be good to see him for the first time and just be freaked out. And the first time we saw him all together was the projector scene. And it was a video, but still really scary. Like the first time you're like, cause like in my stomach, I was like, oh my God, this is, this is, this is it. This is good. This is going to be great. This is going to be amazing. And it was, and it was terrifying. The set is amazingly designed. You got the, the sewer tunnels, which, is, which are still really fun to go through, by the way. We, we got the, um, the waterfall room, which definitely helped me build the atmosphere. Then you got the cistern, which is incredible. They have the huge stack of toys. It all looks amazing.